any other virus, herpes, or of course Ebola, which is just another virus, use your Fucoidin Z. Take three capsules in the morning and three capsules at night. One of the neat things about polysaccharides is they're non-toxic. They're completely non-toxic. And they don't cost $1,000 a pill. There's other polysaccharides that are similar to Fucoidin that have antiviral and, and uh, Ebola properties. Mushrooms and aloe and noni, eggshell membrane, algae, herbs. We talked about this yesterday. Vegetables, fruits. These all have immune boosting antiviral polysaccharides. And for you guys who are a part of our longevity family, we got a new one. We got a new polysaccharide. A company called Restart. Longevity bought a company called Restart. I love how Longevity is always on the lookout for good products and good companies. A la uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence, the Fucoidin Z and the Z Radical, Jordan Rubin's products, the Beyond Organic products, and now the Restart Your Life products, the Beta Glucan products from uh, Restart Your Life. I talked to Joyce Cordell, who's uh, one of the owners of the company at the Longevity Convention. Wonderful lady. I'm very, very excited to be working with Restart Your Life. Beta Glucan is awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. It's got all kinds of health benefits. It's got great benefits for diabetics. It can help improve blood sugar. It can help lower blood fats. It can help fight cancer. It can help protect the skin from photo damage, from wrinkles. And beta glucan has some important antiviral properties, which we'll be talking about here as we continue discussing the immune system. One of the neatest things about beta glucan is that it upregulates the effects of prostaglandins. There's a relationship between polysaccharides and prostaglandins, specifically between beta glucan and prostaglandins. This is one of beta glucan's main biochemical activities. There's scientific research that suggests that beta-glucan may have protective effects against drugs that suppress prostaglandins, so-called NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, NSAIDs like Motrin and Naproxen and Aleve. These are drugs that suppress prostaglandins in an effort to keep inflammation down. Aspirin is the same thing. Aspirin, uh, aspirin toxicity is very common. Why is aspirin toxicity so common? And why is Motrin and, and NSAID toxicity so common? Well, because you can't suppress prostaglandins without having effects on throughout the body. So this prostaglandin suppression effect that is really what gives aspirin and what gives Motrin and drugs like Motrin their benefits is the same thing that gives aspirin and Motrin and drugs like Motrin, their side effects and toxicity, and some of these side effects and toxicity are deadly. They'll kill you. All because of this prostaglandin suppression effect. Well, guess what? It turns out beta-glucan can help suppress or help protect or mitigate or alleviate some of the toxicity that's associated with prostaglandin suppression, with the prostaglandin suppression that is linked to aspirin and Motrin and naproxen. In an article that was published in the journal Current therapeutic research, it was shown, this is from December 2010, it was shown that uh, polysaccharides in general and, and beta-glucan can reduce the damage to the digestive lining of animals that have been given regular doses of aspirin. So if you're on aspirin, if your doctor told you you've got to take a daily dose of aspirin, if you're using Motrin, if you're using lots of Motrin, make sure you're using prostaglandin to help mitigate or relieve or, or reduce some of the toxicity associated with these drugs. Baby glucan is also important for the liver, which of course is a key player in immunity and detoxification and prostaglandin production too. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 855-660-4261 is our number on the bright side. Got some lines open for you. Love to hear from you. If you've got a success story you want to share, you want to contribute to the conversation, or if you just have questions about health or nutrition, we'll be back after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. If you're in the upstate New York area or northern Pennsylvania area, uh, you may want to come down to Olean, New York next Tuesday, October 21st, 7 p.m. I'll be doing a talk for Jonathan Smith, a certified fitness trainer. Uh, his phone number is 646-258-0148. If you want more information, give him a call, 646-258-0148. It'll be next Tuesday, October 21st, 7 p.m. at the Century Manor Grillhouse, 401 East State Street in Olean, New York. And uh, if you want a map quest, the zip code is 14760. Hope you can make it. I'll be in Tulsa, Oklahoma the next week. That's uh, the following week, the, the 20th, Monday night, the 20th 
Uh, if you're interested in checking that out, you can go over to brightsideben.com. It should be posted up there. I'm not sure where exactly I'll be in Tulsa, but that'll be next Monday, the 20th. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I want to tell you. We'll continue talking about beta-glucan. I absolutely love this stuff. I've been using it in the skincare world and my skincare products for many years. It's great topically. You can open up a beta-glucan capsule. You can make a mask out of it. It's great as a healer. There's a lot of literature that talks about using beta-glucan gels to help accelerate the healing of wounds, post-surgical wounds, burns, scrapes. If you mix it with a little chitosan or chitin, which is another polysaccharide, you can really accelerate the healing process. We'll continue talking about beta-glucan tomorrow and antiviral strategies and prostaglandins. I also want to talk about zinc and zinc deficiency, which is very common, and a little bit about soil depletion, which is really common, a big, 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 big problem. If you've ever heard Dr. Wallach speak, he spends a lot of time talking about soil depletion. He's been talking about soil depletion for a long time, but really it's just getting worse and mineral deficiencies of course are a direct result of soil depletion these are all things we'll be talking about in the next in the coming days on the bright side our number today 855-660-4261 if you've got questions about health nutrition prescription drugs the longevity products we welcome your phone calls 855-660-4261 let's go off to ohio and welcome patty to the bright side good morning patty what's going on hi good morning ben good morning um I just wanted to call in because I was recently diagnosed with a lot of gallstones. Okay. And I don't want to have the surgery. What so surgery? Would... They want to take your gallbladder out? Of course. That's so friggin' rude. You know there's half a million of the gallbladders removed every year? Big, big bucks. Doctors make twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars to take out one of your gallbladders. A lot of money. And no and, you know, we don't notice it because our insurance company typically pays for it, but it's a <sighs> It's awful. It's awful. Gallstones are a food issue. The gallbladder is a digestive structure. When the gallbladder is messed up, you have a digestive issue. Gallstones need to be regarded as a digestive issue. This involves toxicity. It involves the liver, food intolerances. First and foremost, well, the first thing you want to do if you have gallstones is you want to start to use nutrients that help you process fats, especially lecithin. Lecithin is a component of bile. It helps dissolve fats. Get yourself on a good lecithin supplement. Some folks are sending me articles about the toxicity of lecithin. This is more stupidity, in my opinion. Somebody's saying lecithin is a toxic sludge byproduct, whatever. And yes, industrially, lecithin can be produced using heavy solvents and toxins. Go for GMO lecithin and use powdered lecithin, not the liquid lecithin. And use GMO-free lecithin, I should say. And use organic lecithin. Sunflower right. lecithin is probably best. Or rice lecithin you can get. I'd be careful of soy lecithin. And use it every day, especially after fatty meals. Get yourself on the ultimate enzymes, which Dr. Wallach calls a... Uh, a gallstone dissolver in a bottle. He's right. There's bile in the ultimate enzymes. Use it after all your meals and make sure you're using some apple cider vinegar. You may want to take some extra oh, yeah. bile. You may want to take some extra bile salts with that. Look to foods that cause digestive distress and eliminate those foods. Very important that you do a food diary. You'll find that certain foods are making things worse. Usually it's something you're allergic to or have an intolerance to. Make sure you're getting enough essential fatty acids. Use the omega-3 and omega-6s and the ultimate EFAs. Personally, I'd be getting on the healthy start pack and doubling up on my ultimate EFA dose. And then you can take nutrients that help you build bile in addition to lecithin, which is very important for building bile, the nutrient choline, and that's spelled C-H-O-L-I-N-E. Choline can help, maybe 200 to 500 milligrams a day of choline. The uh, amino acid taurine can also be helpful for building bile, maybe 500, anywhere from 100 to 500 to 1,000 milligrams of taurine a day. You may notice that you get a little drowsy or sleepy from taurine. Taurine has a relaxing effect on the body. If that's the case, take your taurine at bedtime or divide your doses. Don't take uh, one big honking dose. Don't take a thousand milligrams of taurine all at once. Divide your doses up. You may also want to try some glycine supplements. Those are also, glycine is also a component of bile and that may also help you. So between glycine and taurine and eliminating food intolerances and food allergies and bile salts and lecithin and apple cider vinegar and ultimate enzymes, you have so, and taurine and glycine and choline, you have so many options and the ultimate EFAs. You have so many options. How dare a doctor sub, uh, uh, force you to go into or, or, or suggest that you have a surgical procedure where your body is hacked up and a part of your body is removed in order to prevent gallstones before he puts you on a nutritional supplement program and advises you of dietary strategies. You know, I, I say how dare a doctor do it. Well, you know what? That's what they do. It's, we shouldn't be paying attention. 
You know, if you want to stay healthy, don't pay attention to your doctor, period. All right? We need to be doing our own research on how our bodies work. And if you pay attention to your doctor, just kind of listen to what he says and then do your own research. All right, and then keep and keep your organs. Don't let them carve you up, Patty. My opinion. Oh, I won't. I won't. All right, and you know what else? One more thing. Vitamin E sometimes helps with gallstones. Four hundred international units of vitamin E. Vitamin E. All right. Four hundred IU. Listen to the archives because I gave you a ton of information. If you missed anything, and by the way, we have all the shows archived at brightsideben.com. They usually get posted a couple hours after the show is complete. So if you, you know, I, I give you a lot of information. I'd rather give you too much information than too little information. Sometimes I go fast. I do understand that, but everything is archived at brightsideben.com. Okay, Wonderful. Patty. Thank you. Yes, God thank bless you. you. Good luck. Thank you so much for calling. Okay, Tara, what's up in North Carolina? Long time no talk to. How you doing? Yeah. Hi, Ben. How's the baby? Um, How's baby Harmony? She's doing good right now. Good she's ready for a nap. But um, I have a lot to say, so I'm going to talk really fast so you can okay. go on to the next caller. Okay. First off, I want to say thank you so much for everything that you give us, you know, information. You're so re-encouraging. Thank you. Do not let fear overtake us, you know, and I, um, I'm really encouraged by that. Every time I listen to you, I'm like, yes. Oh, I love it. Thank All you so right. much. So, That's awesome, Tara. I appreciate get that. Get us on the right track. Okay. And I have a friend. Oh, no. Second off, um, I think over the summer you kind of were telling people about the Ty Bowler, Bollinger. Ty Bollinger's. Yes, his son, Ty yeah. Bollinger. So oh. I just wanted to do a shout out that um, he's doing the Truth About Cancer free for this week and next week if people are okay. keeping up with that. Thank you. Do you have a web? Really do you good. have a? Do you have a link or a website that you can give out? Um, I well, didn't he, know about that. He sent out emails, so you kind of like promoted him. And, and if you join his emails, he gives reminders, and he's doing the free episodes, and they're great. They're an oh, hour, nice. um, you know, long, and it's talking about all these doctors that are helping people get on the right track, just like you. Okay. And, good deal. Um, you know what? I'll give yeah. Ty a call. I'll, I'll I'll give Ty a shout out today, or, or send him a text, and try to get that address or the email address for that. Thank you for bringing that yeah, up. Yeah, that's awesome. And then the thing about the archives, um, I noticed I have a friend who has varicose veins, and I didn't want to have to ask you about it, but I couldn't go into the archives and look for it, like type it in, and I didn't you have time couldn't search? to go back. Uh, you want to talk? Let's talk a little varicose veins. They're very easy to deal with. Uh, so, but we got to take a break, Tara. Okay, so hang on, uh, and we'll come back when we come back from our break. If you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to you when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this timeout. Don't go away. Bright side. Thank you for joining us. 855-660-4261 is our number. We're on the air 8 to 9 Pacific, 8 to 9 a.m. Pacific and 10 to 11 a.m. Central Time, five days a week. If you miss a program, they're all up at brightsideben.com. We're talking to Tara in North Carolina about varicose veins. Varicose veins, Tara, need to be considered a circulatory issue, a blood issue. And whenever you have a blood issue, that basically means something is causing the blood to become stagnant, something's causing the blood to not circulate as well as it should. And the most likely suspect, first and foremost, is going to be, excuse me, the uh, food and food intolerances. So. As always, check the digestive system, work on food allergies, eliminating food toxicities, food intolerances, things that you have a problem with. You can also use digestive uh, strategies like, and you know what, I forgot to tell our last caller about the Biolumin Nightly Essence and Probiotics. Uh, I forgot her name. She's listening still, gal from uh, Patty. Patty still listening. Uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence and Probiotics are very, very helpful for all blood, uh, for all fatty food issues, and for all blood issues that are associated with problems processing food like varicose veins. So, using the Biolumin Nightly Essence and the Fucoidin Z, uh, the Fucoidin Z not only uh, is important for digestive health, but the Fucoidin Z is also going to be helpful for blood thinning. Uh, so, using the Fucoidin Z for the digestive system and also for blood thinning, and then using the Biolumin Nightly Essence and the Beyond Organic probiotics products also for the digestive system in addition to eliminating problem foods. There's a relationship between the hormone estrogen or at least uh, how estrogen is processed in the body and the stress response in general. Uh, estrogen is a stress type hormone and then stress in general will cause the blood to get sticky and cloggy and this will contribute to stagnation, uh, uh, venous stagnation or blood circulatory stagnation and that will make varicose veins worse. So if uh, it's a, somebody who's got uh, 
uh, who's just had a baby or has some kind of estrogen or female hormone issues. There's some strategies there using the, pro, uh, the uh, well, using the bioluminite 